and how it affects your testosterone. And a more, a more different topic is recovery time, because a lot of people don't actually talk about alcohol and its effects on recovery time. It's a well-known fact, and if it's not well-known, it is now, because you're watching this video, that alcohol actually lowers your testosterone. But not only does it lower your testosterone, it also increases your estrogen and increases your cortisol levels. Now cortisol levels, or basically cortisol, is your stress hormone. When your cortisol levels get too high, they interfere with protein synthesis. So all that extra hard energy that you're putting into your workouts, that where you do diet and everything like that, that you're grinding on in the gym, well, if your cortisol levels get too high, it's gonna interfere with your results. We need to kind of manage and be, maybe not even manage, but at least be aware of the effects that alcohol is having on our system for both the short term and the long term. What alcohol does is just like, for example, if you were to sprain your ankle, before your ankle can actually heal itself, it has to get rid of the inflammation. Well, in order for your body to actually recover, your body has to process out the alcohol. So and this can have a cascading effect, especially if you've switched your lifestyle over into building more muscle and a cleaner diet, but yet you're still maintaining your alcohol and consumption. Because what's going, what this is gonna look like is your body's get, getting put through the ringer. Like you're working out, you're making gains, like you're getting gains, like you're, like you're really tearing your body apart so that it can rebuild itself. You're, you're, you're trying to put on muscle mass so that it increases your metabolic rate, so you're burning more fat, so you're doing all the things right, and you're, you're narrowing that down. But you need to also focus on recovery time. Because what happens if you're having, that, if you're having a, a, a daily drink or you're drinking excessively on the weekends or other cases, you're postponing your recovery time. So let's say you're a weekend drinker and you tend to like to go out on the weekends and, and, and party that way. So you're Monday through Friday, you're hitting the gym, you're, ki like, you're just killing the gym, you're shredding your muscles apart, you know that like, they're, they're gonna come back and you're gonna be like super, super strong. But then it comes to the weekend and you start drinking, well, those are supposed to be your rest days for your body to basically heal and build back up so it can meet the demand of the workload that you put onto it. We just raise the, the requirement and the demand of our body physically at a higher level, it's going to have to recover to get to that. Well, if we're drinking alcohol, that recovery rate is going to be really, really hard to achieve. And so what's going to happen is the next week when you start it again, you're going to be a lot more tired. And it's going to hurt a lot more. And then the week after that, it's, it's going to feel like your body's falling apart. We need to give your body sufficient time to recover, and it can't do that with alcohol in the system. The alcohol has to be completely processed out of the system before it can even attempt to start repairing. That's a big factor, especially for your weekend drinkers, but for your people that like to have a drink every single day, that also weighs in because after you're done with your workout, and then boom, you're gonna have a drink, you just delayed your recovery time for the amount of time it takes for that alcohol to get processed out of your system. If you don't really want to kick alcohol out of your entire diet all around, which I do very much encourage that, at least to the best of your ability, then I recommend drinking on a basis of occasions for specific reasons. If drinking is important to you, have it be around something that is of importance. For example, a big achievement or a birthday. I did this, I accomplished this, boom, I want to go out and party. That's okay. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it's, it's okay to reward yourself on, on milestones and accomplishments. Anyhow, I hope this information about alcohol has provided insight and that you can able to take into account and maybe self-reflect on whether this is something that you want to change, adapt, get rid of, or change it to a reward-based system within your own personal life. But anyhow, once again, my name is Will Pounder and I hope this information will provide benefit and use to in your daily life. And thanks for watching.